Hey, what's up guys? It's Instructional Skateboarding and it's been a while since I did a video outside. It kind of feels weird. But um, yeah, it's pretty cold out outside right now, except it's not as cold as some of the other days and it's been super rainy. I recently started college, so I haven't been able to make videos that often. But that's besides the point, so what I'm going to be doing today is teaching you guys one of the essential steps in skateboarding. Uh, something that's super good to have under your belt, something helpful, something that makes your life a lot easier, and that is ollieing over obstacles. So as a skateboarder, ollieing over obstacles is something that you need for a lot of things, um, maybe for lines, for a video part, just, um, you know, something's in your way, like say you're skating down the street and there's a big crack in the way, or a hole across the street, or a garden hose or something, someone's, you know, like, watering some fence, and you want to get over it, you need to be able to ollie over obstacles and just cruise around. Today that's what I'm going to show you guys what to do and it's basically just has to do with the gradient. So what you're going to want to do is first you want to know how to ollie obviously. So once you know how to ollie, come back to this video. If you already know how to ollie, you're ready to watch this video. So after you know how to ollie, what you want to do is build yourself up on a gradient. So this video is kind of more for beginners who are just trying to learn some of those essential steps. So first thing you want to do is make sure you can ollie. Um, and you're not going to want any obstacle. So first, just make sure that you can do a flat ground ollie while going to a decent speed. So let's do one of those. So obviously, I know how to ollie. Um, I've been skating 12 years, I can ollie every time. I can do it over stuff, depending on how high it is every time. And it's not something you miss after skating 12 years. So after you know how to ollie like that, you're ready to start learning it over obstacles, which like I said, you're gonna wanna build this up on a gradient so that you can have this skill for skating street or just traveling around, stuff like that. So we're gonna get this rail that I have and you just want to ollie over it. Now, I'm also going to teach the timing and stuff. So basically, I like to give myself a reference point to go on. So as soon as my back wheels, or front wheels actually, touch this line, that's where I'm going to pop. So basically, what's going to happen is you're going to come set up with speed and um, you know, this is a very small ollie for me obviously, so it's not going to be hard. But as soon as my front wheels touch this line, I'm going to pop, come over it, level it out, and clear it. And all you know for obstacles is all about building up your confidence and getting that confidence there and knowing you can do that. So when you're trying to learn it over something small, that's what you want to do. And just do it over something really easy. You can even do it over something flat, like you can take like a jump rope if you have, a stick even something like that, but uh, this is going to be my first ollie just because this is still really easy for me. But like I said, you could even just take a rope, a stick, anything, and give yourself a reference point. So put it like right, say for me right here, and then say, okay, I'm going to pop when my front wheels hit this line. Just give yourself a reference point for timing, and um, just set up like you would a normal ollie, really, and just do it and build your confidence up. So first, start on that small ollie, and uh, yeah, let's do that first. So obviously that's not much of a challenge, but now I have that confidence, I know I can do it, I have one under my belt, I've landed it, I feel good about the fact that um, I've done it. So now you have that confidence there, you have that mind frame knowing you can do it, 
And um, you want to do this about 10 times in a row. Once you can do it 10 times in a row, you're consistent. You know you can do it. It's not something that is now of a challenge to you. So obviously, I could do that every time if I wanted. It's not hard for me. Um, but if it is for you guys, just be able to do it consistent about 10 times in a row. Then you know you're good at something that size. Then you can go a little bit bigger. So give me one second. Now the whole idea of this video is that it's on a gradient, so it doesn't have to be a big increase. I might even just put the skateboard on top of this. Now I'm only a little bit higher and longer distance. Or even like this. I have that confidence there now. I know I can do it. And uh, now let's just increase it a little bit. So once again, it's the same sort of idea. You still want to keep your reference point, um, especially if you're a beginner. So me right here, I'm going to pop right when my front wheels hit this and then I leveled it out and I cleared it. So that still gives me a point to go off of. It's not a big increase and it's still gonna again build your confidence. You're gonna say, okay, now I can only a little bit higher, a little bit longer, and I can still do it, but it's not a big increase at the same time. So it gets consistent with that again. And then once you're comfortable with that, you're gonna want more, you're gonna wanna improve it even more. And that's the whole idea, like I said, is just knowing that you can slowly increase and uh, improve yourself. After this, you might want to try a gap. You can put it a little bit longer. You can put it a little bit higher. The random Halloween decoration we use, just a random decoration. But you can just, you can make it however you want, really. And you just want to build up your skating, build up that confidence. So, still going to keep that reference point again. And all of this to build up that confidence. So you can see what happens is that I'm building up my skating but at a comfortable level which I know I can do. So every time I'm getting higher, I'm getting longer, I'm getting more confident and I just it's coming easier to me the whole idea of just being able to clear something. So at this point you kind of have to judge your skating, you have to look at yourself and say, you know, how far can I take this and that's really all it comes down to. After that, it's just sort of more practice and um, really after being able to get consistent and um, build your confidence, you can take your ollies to as big as you want. You can push yourself as hard as you want. This is the biggest ollie I ever did. And um, I'll also put the clip of it here for you guys to watch. So as you can see, that was a really high ollie. I'd say it was probably about this high and at least a sidewalk square long here so it was like probably four feet long and like four feet high i don't know but all i know is that it's high up in the air and that's just the same thing it's just building your confidence and uh, i'm gonna break it down exactly how you should go about doing your ollie just so you guys have a little bit better idea but then after that it's build yourself a reference point build up your confidence Get consistent at it so you know it's not like a challenge for you anymore. And then when you know it's not a challenge for you and it's too easy, you just increase it, increase it, increase it, and train it every day and work at it every day until it's something that comes natural to you and uh, you can use it. It's also um, something you need if you want to be able to do tricks over it. You know, if you want to be able to say 180 this rail, kick flip this rail, heel flip this rail, anything. Um, obviously, you're going to start with that base volley, and that's where you're going to need to know first. So let's break down exactly how this always should be done. So step one is obviously set up your obstacle. That's easy enough, that's nothing. Step two, give yourself a reference point. So for me, because this one is a little bit higher, I'm going to have to pop harder and the timing's going to be a little bit different. So I'm just going to give myself a little bit more room. That should be good. Now, Step three basically just involves the ollie and that's where the ollie comes in place. So you're gonna wanna pop right at that reference point you give yourself, make sure you're gonna have enough timing. This would be good. So you're gonna pop it right here. Now your board is gonna come up to the obstacle. Right here, you would put it. And this 
this is kind of one of the core ideas of ollie it over an obstacle. So you're going to bring your board up over the obstacle. If you know how to ollie properly, you should be able to level them out. And um, right in about the midway point of your ollie, you would lean your weight forward and that would level your board out. Traveling you across. And then right here, that weight should just bring you down onto the concrete. One of the tips that you're going to need to learn is the timing of when to level out your ollie because basically when you pop, if you do it too late, you're just not going to do anything at all and you're just going to clip it. And if you do it too early, you might level out early and come on top of it. Or you're just going to be traveling like this the whole time, which is okay, but it's not ideal. So how you want to time this is you're going to pop. And when your back wheels or whatever you're trying to ollie over is about half a board length, so about this far, that's when you're going to level it out right here, so it has a bit of time to level out and go over, and then you're going to come back on top of it. So now I'm going to show you guys a couple ollies over this rail, and we're going to break one down in slow motion after I do one, and uh, that's basically just a tutorial. We went over how to set up your obstacle, how to build up a gradient, how to build confident, and how to actually do the ollie, and that's sort of basically the tutorial. So now let's do a couple, break them down, show you guys what went right and uh, why this ollie worked. So let's do that. Now one thing uh, to note is when you're ollie in an obstacle, it doesn't have to be 100% leveled out. You know, if it's a little bit rocket style, or even if it's like tweaked and it's down like this, that's fine. As long as you level it out enough to get that board over, otherwise you're going to clip it and you don't want to have your weight uneven in the air and then like land in a manual or something. So it doesn't have to be leveled out 100%, but as long as it's just good enough to get those back wheels up and over. there was easily the best one I did. I landed really clean, popped really clean, and uh, just landed nice and rolled away good. So we're going to break that one down. So at this point in the video, it's going to switch to voiceover over the clip, and then it'll come back here. So uh, yeah, let's get to that voiceover now. So we might replay this in slow motion a couple times, but basically as you can see right here, I pop at my reference point. And then I wait just a second, uh, about half a board length, r roughly around there, and level it out. Just travel over, you don't have to do anything at this point really, and then your body weight and gravity naturally brings you back down and you ride over. So that's sort of my breakdown of that clip, um, explaining with a voiceover how that ollie went and what went right about it, and how I applied everything I taught you guys into that ollie over the obstacle. Um, so if you watch this video, if you study these steps, and you practice what I told you, building up your confidence, giving yourself a reference point, and um, being consistent at it, that's going to help you with your sort of, I guess, ollie training, or being able to ollie over obstacles, and how to go from just being able to do a flat ground ollie, even at medium speed, to slowly bringing it over bigger and bigger things. Now I know this isn't super high or super long or anything, that's not the point of this video, the point of this video is not to show off, it's to be instructional because that's where I am and to give you a properly made tutorial on the skill in skateboarding. So if you did enjoy this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, my social media links are down below, as you guys already know, and it's been instructional skateboarding, peace out guys.